So you're finally thinking about purchasing Garmin's LiveScope system, but you wanna make sure you're making the right decision before skipping out on your next couple mortgage payments or living off Mr. Noodles for the rest of the year. Only five more months to go. So today, I wanna to show you how it performed for my style of fishing that I'm gonna be using it for. And then stay tuned, I'm gonna share with you two thoughts that may change your mind about buying the LBS 32. So let's get right into it. Most information that I've seen online has the transducer at the front of the boat mounted on the trolling motor. Here in British Columbia, Canada, where I live, there's not a lot of applications where you're actually just casting it from your boat as your boat heads in that direction. So, so I'm using the electric motor as a mount. I've got the LBS 32 mounted here, pointed behind me. I just want to try it as a trolling application in the area I live in, which is primarily fly fishing and trolling. So it's got a 135 degree beam this way, okay, front to back and then it's got a 20 degree beam wide. We're gonna hook it up like this, see if we can troll with the, the downriggers, see if we can see the downrigger balls and see if we can see our hook going out back. And hopefully that helps you if you're on the fence about buying it and you wanna know if it works for the application that you're perhaps gonna use it for. So stay tuned, let's go on the water. All right guys, welcome back. So here we are at the lake. We're finally here, what a beautiful day. I'm on White Lake, BC, primarily a fly fishing lake. So to look at the live scope system, I am going to put on a cannonball with a gang troll and then i'm going to put on uh, an apex we got an underwater camera so that if we see fish on the live scope we can verify that there's a fish i'm going to put this on just for size and hopefully it shows up fairly clear in the water let's get right to it all right guys here we go gang troll downrigger ball orange apex with the camera turning camera on There we go. Okay, we're gonna go 20 feet behind. We're gonna start at about uh, 25 feet. There's two fish there. We'll see if they look at the the apex there. Uh, he's kind of kind out of range there, but. Yep, there he is. So we'll verify that on the camera. We'll see if we kind of saw that one in the distance. There's a fish. Let's try to verify that on the camera. He's coming back. Looks like he's going again. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, my camera wasn't on. <laughs> we were marking fish, watching their behavior. Okay, so let's do this again. There's a fish. Okay, he's going past the gang troll. You see this orange dot kind of coming up. Okay, he's hanging back here. He's about 30 feet back now. Okay, now he's kind of faded off the 20 degree beam. Still kind of hanging back there. We might be able to see that guy on the camera. So what I didn't catch on camera guys, because I had it off, was the fact that there's the gang troll, there's the downrigger ball, the cannonball, okay? And you can see my clips. Those are the constants sitting in the middle of the screen. What you see fading in and out is the camera I have on the line and the clip, and then my apex is back here. That is forward. This is behind us, of course, because I have it pointed behind us to see for a trolling application. So what I'm gonna do now, guys, is I'm gonna go a little bit deeper, so you're gonna see this cannonball drop down a bit. Go down to about 40 feet. Okay. Now we'll adjust the depth here so you can see it a bit better. There you go. See the bottom there, the orange. We'll move it up even more. Okay, and there you see a couple of fish, one, two, three, and then they kind of fade it out. You see this guy, he's coming up. He might be about where we are. There's one. There's one, we, hopefully we'll see that one on the camera. There's another one there. Seems more interested in the gang troll than he does the apex. Kind of lost sight of my lure there now, but because we're turning, So because it's a 20 degree beam, uh, it is tough to see if you turn. There's one. We'll probably see that one on the camera right there. Right, that guy's kind of in behind. We might get that guy. There's one back here. He's coming in for it. 
uh, slowing down. So that's what live scope is good for. I could see so far um, is really honing in on what the fish want for trolling anyway. So there you have it guys, just a little bit of what Garmin's live scope system can do for you while you're trolling. You can really become a student of how fish react and or not react to your presentation, uh, giving you live feedback of whether or not you have to change your speed, your lure color, or even your variation of lure. Um, all while still giving you the traditional readouts of the boat's speed, water temperature and depth, and the time but no fisherman uses the time. A couple of things you just want to make sure uh, before considering purchasing the LBS 32 transducer. And that is uh, number one, if you mount it like I did where it was on the starboard side, um, you only really get to see one downrigger. I'm not sure if you mount it in the very middle of your boat, if you will get to see both, I guess it depends on how far back the downrigger balls swing. Um, and lastly, it does change your style of fishing. I found that I was, and, and anybody on my boat found the same thing. They were staring at the screen uh, to see any fish bites rather than staring at the tip rod tip as usual. So um, that didn't really bug me at all, but it may bug you. I'm not sure. So um, I hope you enjoyed that video. There's more videos of trolling with the LVS 32 live scope more to come. I'm going to leave you with this last video of a reaction from a friend of mine while I took him out fishing and uh, he was able to see on the live scope. He didn't quite understand it, but he was able to look at the live scope, see a fish come up and, uh, and hit, and then we were able to reel that fish in. So I'll leave you with that, and uh, thanks for watching the video. And then you have the ability to point it. Yeah. Okay, so it's basically just pointing behind us. And we're this uh, sunbeam looking thing at the top. That would be us, correct? Correct. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, you got it, you got it. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Got to see it live. Oh, you could see you reeling them in. <laughs>